Hi everyone, I'm China and this is my first vlog. To start off the vlog, here's a short get ready with me. My friends and I are going to Buddha today and we agreed to meet at 6.30 a.m. So this is a clip from last night where I'm choosing my outfit. Top and shorts are from Pomelo in Zalora and my sneakers are Nike blazers. We finally arrived at Buddha and we had our breakfast at Muhikan's restaurant. We also had no signal on Wi-Fi the whole day yesterday, so it was really hard to communicate. Cebu, Surigao, Palawan, and other parts of Visayas were greatly affected by the typhoon. If you want to help or donate, attached above are donation channels from For the Future PH on Instagram. Our orders started arriving. Mishi and I got hot choco for 90 pesos. It was not the best I have tasted or the taste isn't that unique, but it was okay for its price. Chai got cold lemonade for 80 pesos and Mishi and Tre got Jaime's breakfast for 280 pesos. May and I got machaca for 360 pesos. It is pulled pork with um, fried egg and Mexican rice. I would say it's a bit expensive for its price, but I think it's because it's already good for two. Lastly, Chai got bistec the rest for 380 pesos. <laughs> They also sell cute tablewares outside of their restaurant. The cheapest one I saw was 60 pesos and the most expensive one was about 320 but it was already a set of six. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, 
Our initial plan was actually only to have breakfast at Pilgrim, but we had more time left. So we asked Kuya at Mohicans to tell us where the tourist spots are in Buda. He told us to go to Sinuda area as there were a lot of attractions that we could see there. Our first stop is at Salorayan Resort and it has a 50 pesos entrance fee. It's not about the ano, it's about wow. the people you're with. The only thing you could see here was this mini waterfall. So I don't recommend you going here. But if you are like my friends and I, where we just want to go anywhere, you can visit this place. Our next destination was at Bato Bato Peak. We just saw this place on Google Maps and decided to visit this. We also stopped by Buddha's famous eagle statue just to take pictures. On the way home, we craved for some iced coffee and we saw this cute cafe at Haka Mountain Peak. They just had their soft opening last December 16. I would suggest going to this place because it has a really nice view. The place is so cozy and they also have cakes, coffee, and pasta. As it was still early afternoon, we stayed at Paramount Coffee at Riverfront. So that ends my first vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!